What is up, Total Excellence? So for tonight, dudes, for a Sunday fun day coloring, we'll be coloring my favorite superhero of all time. It's not a bird. It's not a plane. It is Superman. Superman, my dudes. I had this plush doll for like since I was five years old. So, <clears throat> before we even start coloring, my dudes, let's look at the chat. We got the flock comic A. A to you, flock. And we got Jin Gingerton, yo yo. Yo yo, in indeed, Ging. The guy I show some love with my Floridian bros. And we got Rebel Gaming BC. Bullet Club, dudes. Bullet Club. As indeed with Flock Comics. Bullet Club again. So. Nothing serious, dudes. This is just fun and shenanigans. So. Y'all are here for one thing and one thing only. Is to watch me color. So. We'll be coloring this. I believe I even have the creator. I have the artist down in my description below, but I do believe his name is right there. Is George Jimenez, and I mean this is the beautiful, beautiful illustration. Yeah, I can't even say illustration, illustration, and like I freaking love it. It has grayscaling and everything, so just coloring within flats. I mean, it's gonna look beautiful, guys. So. I'm going to knock myself off in three, two, one, poof. All right, guys. So before I even start anything, um, if you guys do not know, with Clip Studio's new update, I can actually do time lapse now. So I pretty much do is like maybe after this stream, I'll post a vi video of my time lapse right over here so record time lapse turn the canvas recording da, da, da. okay cool all right now let's go on ahead start coloring so let's do a strong tone colors let's try this blue over here do, do, do. let's go and use marker You know, I don't traditionally do this, but uh, kind of like this blue here. I might lower the opacity a bit because it's a little this blue is a little bit stronger than it should be. But you know, I love I love really strong colors, nice and bright. Oh shoot, I'm coloring. Am I coloring over his cape? No, I'm not. So, yeah, dudes, sorry I have not colored last week. I was over at LP's uh, Twitch stream. You know, go and check out um, Rebel Gaming XXX. So, I'll be hopping onto that stream as well after I'm done with this. But, yeah, I mean, so far this is looking gorgeous. Again, for you colorists out there, if you guys even know how to like play around with grayscaling and everything, I mean, I think you don't need to worry about just adding shadows or anything like that. Let me go and tilt this. Okay, now. Okay. 
Okay, do 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 do. Let me lower down the opacity for this blue here. See, it's kind of like this little purplish blue going on here, which I kind of like. I think this is this is a good blue right here. 80%, not 80%, this is 83%. So I like that color. So I'll just use this as, just turn that layer into blue. Flat layer. Now, just go on ahead. Just enjoy our coloring. But yeah, dudes. Um, my introduction with Superman. <clears throat> excuse me. My introduction with Superman was the Superman animated series. I honestly thought. Uh, Superman animated series started first before Batman. Well, actually, it was all the way around. But I honestly like the Superman animated series than Batman. I mean, granted, I do like the Batman animated series, but if you ask me which one I like the most, I honestly like the Superman series better. And if you're even going to ask me uh, who you like more, Superman or Batman, I'm going to tell you Superman, because what I like about Superman is, like, he's this character where he's not even from freaking Earth, okay? He's an alien, <clears throat> but the humans taught him, you know, the humans taught him, like, how everyone, you know, how it is you should treat others, and you got to be better, and, you know, with Superman, this, he has godlike abilities, and yet, you know, when he saves people, he doesn't feel like, like, he doesn't feel like he's superior to them. Like, again, we're talking about a dude who was raised in a farm and, you know, is basically just, you know, living with a blue collar family and... Pretty much like, just, I don't know, just loving life and, you know, his way of thanking the, the people on Earth, just treating him how he is. I mean, he, he protects, he protects the people he loves, he protects those that are in need and, you know, that are not, <clears throat> you know, that cannot fend for themselves. Um, I'll be going checking on the chat soon, dudes, but, you know, I cannot wait to see how the time lapse will look. So, you know, dudes, after I'm done recording this, um, just wait till you see the time lapse video, because that is going to look so cool. So, I mean, in a way, like, you're seeing this in real time. How it would actually take just to finish coloring. But you get to see it just go by super fast. And just, you know, just basically like it's nothing. But yeah, guys, I'm super excited. I love Clip Studio's new feature. Because now they added time lapse in there. Uh, in the software. They even have a template. To create webtoons so if you guys are interested to create webtoons hey man it's possible man I'm, I'm I don't know about you guys but I'm so excited how this is looking so far I just love this love it love it love it again guys Superman is my all-time favorite and you know guys um if you know any really good um, Superman comics or any runs, drop it down in the chat. I would love to read them, especially now within the holidays, you know. I'd love to read some really good Superman stories.
right? Let me go and turn that around. Okay. Oh man, this is looking awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go and check on the chat really quick, dudes. Let me see, Gabriel Perez. Goku got robbed in Death Battle 1. Listen, man. It is what it is, but I mean, you know, I I was on Team Goku too, but I mean, when it comes to Superman, I mean, Superman is Superman, dude. I mean, his name is literally in the title, Superman. But regardless, uh, he won fair and square in both battles. Curly hair like Superman. Yeah, dude, um, I did that on purpose. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I would play with my hair for a bit. And I don't know, it just did that curly hair. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. So I have my beanie next to me, my Superman beanie. And we got Juke Joint. Yo, yo, Juke. Thank, for com Thank you for coming by the stream. See, no excuses, no mercy. Oh, man. So I, I know you've been watching Co Cobra Kai, dude. See, you got time. What do I got time, Rebel? <laughs> what do I got time, LP? I think you're referring to, like, just going on the stream. Let me see. Since getting into Gosh, it made grayscaling so oops much easier. Yeah, it does, dude. And we got the Calvary Collective. Look at this wonderful man. No, look at this wonderful, wonderful comment. Thank you so much, Calvary. You are the best. So I'm going to go back to coloring for now, guys, because right now... This is basically a time lapse, but I think I can edit this out within the time lapse. So now I'll create another layer, which will be red. All right, so um, let's use a paint bucket tool. Oh yeah, this is the paint bucket tool is your best friend, guys. Look, look how fast I'm getting this done. Ridiculous, I know. So I think for the darker ones, is it any? Yeah, look at that. It's like even it's the same color, but you can tell like it got darker. So let me go in again. This is the same red. If you guys know how to do grayscaling, your coloring is gonna make it oh so much easier on your end, guys. For any inspirational colorist out there. It's going to make your job way more easier than just playing around with where the lighting is and all that stuff. Okay, now. Hey yeah, guys, uh, Superman is my all-time favorite superhero. He's an inspiration. Um... I don't know if I'll... I'll have the heart to watch, not even watch, but even reading the comic um, Doomsday. Because, I mean, you know, spoiler alert, uh, Superman dies. I pretty much missed that out, thank God. Because <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm getting to know Superman. Oh, they're going to kill him. Mind you, there's like news media and everything going on. It's like every other comic character died way before but apparently Superman's getting more attention than any character from the DC comics I think they even killed off Robin before even Superman the reason why they did is because they got tired of him <laughs> oh man I just feel bad for let me see if we can play around with the opacity I mean it's not really we'll, we'll stay with that right over here just need to type in more just for flat sake. <laughs> to get it. Flat steak. Anyways. Alright, so 
I have my Superman plush next to me, so he's basically my reference. So this belt here is yellow. Ooh, you know what? Let me create another layer. Create another layer saying yellow. My fancy typing skills. So I know why. Is leaving me so many little dots, but it's all good. The lasso tool is my best friend. Now, boom, boom. Okay. And now we'll go and color this yellow here. Here, here, bam, bam. Lama jamma. But yeah, man, it's, it was pretty wild in the 90s. You know, I pretty much missed out in, within the movement with the 90s. But um, my first take with Superman or somewhat was uh, a Superboy. And I can't, <clears throat> I honestly remember it by heart like how the cover was um literally issue one of Su superboy and literally is like this i believe it was a die cut cover of that you know you get to see superboy's back of superman's logo and you know um you know how it is superman's gone so now they need to have a new hero to take over Metropolis and pretty much you know Superboy is taking on the duties of Superman I think you know I think at first when I again I was five years old so I, I think I like I assumed that this is like Superman's son per se at least that was my mindset when <clears throat> when I first... I didn't even read it. Like, back then when I was five, I hated reading. So, of course, you know, I love looking at pictures within the comic books, but there is no way you're going to make me read. I hated reading when I was a kid. But, you know, unfortunately, I missed out a lot. Because if maybe if I gave reading a try, if I even actually tried, I think would honestly enjoy comics but you know things happen for a reason and you know I'm just glad now I'm into this medium because of this medium is like now I have another way for me to do art and just you know share my voice and my stories Bam bam. Thank you, ma'am. So we're just gonna color over just the little stuff here and there. Cause I'm that picky. Bam, look at that. It looks gorgeous. Okay now. Let's go and color that red. Let me go and check on the chat really quick, guys. And then... Do, do, do. Yeah, he's looking awesome. The juke, juke joint says, now I want to listen to Miles Davis. It kind of blew. Now you made me want to listen to it. Sounds interesting. You see the Flock comic says, I just watched the Heart of Batman documentary today on Warner Bros. YouTube. Oh, shoot. I might look into that. 
Let me see. Uh, we need to do. Oh, we need to all do some epic coloring stream. We all use same image and get my <laughs> butt kicked by the digital guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Uh, Juke Joint does traditional coloring. Let me see. Let me ask as a colorist: Do you like having the gray there to help where it be darker or not? I honestly, I mean, honestly, this is the first time I ever do this with a grayscaling type of, um, like, a first time doing like a grayscaling type of image. So, I mean, it makes it much more easier within the artist, not the artist, um, the colorist end. So you may have an idea like, okay, where is the lighting at? Or can I add more shadows into it since, you know, the grays seem to be more like a dark, <clears throat> the darker shade of the cape. So I think, honestly, it makes it way more easier. As he Gabriel Perez says, Goku, Master Ultra Instinct versus Superman, make it happen. No, no. It's dead and gone, Gabriel Perez. It's dead and gone, you know. Goku can have any any transformation, even though it's not a transformation. It's a technique, but it is what it is. There's a surprisingly Tom King Superman book for Walmart up in the sky was actually good. Oh, shoot. What? Tom King did a Superman? I Now I need to, like, look into it. Thanks for the recommendation, Juke. I will look into that. Yo! Yo, Ginger Gingerton. I'm at work just listening in. Oh, man. Thank you so much, Ginge. I really do appreciate you listening in. There's Neostar Productions, the brilliant star that shines through the night, the hot coal in the furnace of freedom. Riser Man stands before you. Neostar, I'm no Superman beefy. Give that a listen when you get the chance. Okay. I'll look I'll listen to that after the stream. We got MD dangerously. Looks like a great pick for some dramatic rim lighting. Yeah, dude, most definitely. So thank you guys, everyone that are watching the stream. I really, really appreciate it. You guys ooze of excellence as always. But you know, you guys already knew that, but you know, I just want to remind you that you guys are awesome. So now is used just a paint bucket tool. Look at that. Look how awesome this looks. Okay, now I'm coloring over George Perez's signature. Alright, now we're going to go do some surgery here. There we go. We don't want to taint George Perez's signature. We might give it a... We'll give it a blue. We'll give it a, a nice Superman blue. If I can freaking, there we go. Now it's starting to register. Give it a nice blue just to give respect to the artist with this beautiful illustration. Uh, I put George Jimenez's Twitter link down in the description below. I mean, it looks fantastic. I love it. Uh, he gave. The art give justice to how Superman is. Okay, color that over. I think I can use just a marker so that way.
Okay. All right, I believe we did justice to highlighting Georgie Menez's signature. It's a pretty awesome signature. Go and give him a follow, guys, if you love to see some Superman art. Bam. Okay. Alrighty, cool. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are hearing what I'm hearing, but there. I don't know, they're shooting fireworks outside. I do not know why, but that's how my weird my neighborhood is. I remember they even like play did some fireworks. They did fireworks on Thanksgiving. They did fireworks I believe on I don't know, some random day. I remember they were there was a random day with like they did some fireworks. Maybe like at a certain month where there was no holiday ever, and they and they like did some fireworks and like what the heck are they doing? What? What? I don't know. Maybe it was like a relative's birthday, so since they know how to do fireworks or heck, I don't know. They might they might own fireworks, so I think that's why they're able to do what they do. So. Okay. Bam. Oh God, this looks amazing. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I want to know how the heck did this artist did all of this little detail work? What the flip, man? Holy cow. Just him lifting up earth. All right, so now create another flat layer. We'll call it a uh, space. And then um, I'm thinking like a nice cool purple. We'll play around with the purple color later. What am I tech? Well, not later, but we'll see in how this will go. And then I'll play around with the layering. Let's try glow dodge. Okay, glow dodge does not work. Color dodge, not even close. Huh. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see vivid light. <laughs> I'm playing around with these colors. I just chose brightness, and this is this is the brightness it gave me. Okay, so we'll just go with normal for now. So. All right, so now I see how the purple looks. I don't know why it's not getting all of it. Come on. If I turn off maybe the... See, now you know how it looks without the line art. It looks pretty solid. Okay, now, now that I grabbed it, let's play around with a few colors. Okay, we got this cool blue colors here and there. I really want to experiment purple. Purple is... Let's see this magenta. Eh. Meh. 
don't like magenta. Okay, so purple is a no-go. Let's try blue. Okay, this this is promising. I mean, I honestly don't want to use the color blue. But then again, it's not really near. It's not really near his suit. So it won't be too blended in. Let's try another color. Let's try green. Yeah, no. That's that is too odd and weird. Yeah. Okay. Blue is the winner for outer space. Let me go and check on the chat really quick. See if I'm missing anything. See, great job, pal. Thank you, Neo. And we got Jay Esbin, the talented artist that looks... I don't know why I'm misreading everything. That's looking pretty cool, man. Thank you so much, Jay. Truly appreciate it. Especially with a talent like Jay Esbin. I mean, if you... I'm telling you guys, Jay Esbin is like an all-around artist. <clears throat> He not only makes amazing art, his line art is amazing, and also um, his coloring, his coloring is top notch, dude. And I ain't saying it to be nice, but you guys got to check out Jay Espen's work. It is phenomenal. I wonder what it's going to look like if I just used a paint bucket tool. Oh my god, yes. Yes, thank you so much, Paint Bucket Tool. So we'll try this again, because it's capturing everything and not getting the white, which is perfect. Makes everything look like it's in outer space. So, oh my god, this is fantastic. Thank you, Paint Bucket Tool. Let me see, uh... Okay. God, this looks amazing. Man, I'm so happy how this coloring stream is looking so far. God, this is awesome. All right, now... Let's play around with the sun. So we'll do flats. Create another layer called sun. Flat layer. We'll play around with this color. Oh no, it's submerged to the earth. Okay, so. As you can tell, this looks like a boring sun, but bear with me, guys. We're going to try something cool. Let's try this one here. Okay, so I like the previous color, so we'll do that. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate the layer. And then... I'm going to change it. Let's try color dodge. Okay, it just made it brighter, which I don't want. Let's try glow dodge. Nothing much. Add. Let's try overlay. All right, so I'll be doing my magic. So let's try a uh, color Let's look at brightness. Okay, it's not doing really a lot of changes. So I'll do color dodge. We just turn it off. Like you could tell the difference. It's making it much brighter. Um, let me go and change that yellow here. So and what I'll be doing is. I'll be using like a paintbrush, right? I'll use a paintbrush. I'll do it like transparent. And then what I'll do is pretty much the little glares that you see here. 
I might paint over it. We must not do too much. Let's try the glow dodge. You see, it makes look how cool that looks. So I'll just do that. Uh, so I'm gonna try that. I'll do that over again. Delete it. I'll duplicate the layer. I'll try uh I'll try I'll try uh glow dodge. See it gives that nice glare to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna color where all the lighting is going. You know, just to experiment. Because I don't really paint per se. But we'll see how it goes. Gonna give this weird greenish look to it. So that's looking cool. So what I'm doing now, I'm using an opacity uh, brush. So I'm not necessarily erasing per se, but still gives it a nice, And I want to erase this here. So now I'm erasing it. So that way the earth is not really getting that yellow touch to it. Okay. No. Huh. That's weird. Oh, it's the blue. Okay, now I know why it's looking like that. So, we'll grab this blue here. Actually, let me turn off the line art. Now you can have now you have guys have like a good idea what what it looks without the line art and the grayscaling. Now I'll just use my mill pen. Just do the fine tuning here. Okay. Give it a nice save. I'm gonna go and check on the chat really quick. And we got Mananui. 
What's up, Mata? I think this is the first time I ever see you in the stream. But thank you for coming by. I truly do appreciate it. All right, so. Uh, what we'll do here is maybe I'll start all over again. I mean, this looks awesome. I just don't want this sun to look so flat. So let's try again. Let me see. Let's try this one. Okay. So I'll be coloring it with this layer here. Kind of like the texturing it's giving it. I know you guys can't really see much, but on my end, kind of do. Let me go and change the add glow. So now you guys have a better idea what's going on. So now we'll just use this opacity thing. I don't want to make the sun look like, you know, it's, it's a ball of flames, so. All right, so let me duplicate the layer again, and then what we'll do is maybe Use glow dodge maybe. How about color dodge? Okay, it's kind of like I see me playing around with the colors. Wonder what it'll look like if I use orange. I think you can't really tell if it's orange per se. I think it just brightens everything so. I think for now we'll just move on from the sun. Let's try multiply. What does multiply do for me? Oh, it just makes it a little bit more darker. So now we'll do layer called earth flat and then we'll use add glow you can't really tell all right oh there we go Let's try this blue here. How about this blue?
You know, I just realized I forgot to color Superman's skin. But we'll get to that soon. Just want to get just finishing coloring planet Earth. Then we'll be concerned later with just Superman's coloring. Let me erase this here. Boom, boom. Color planet Earth. Blue and then. All right. I'll be checking on the chat soon, guys. Let me go in. I think there's not a lot to color Superman. It's just only his face and his hands. So I'll call him, uh, call this layer soups, skin, and go in. Go and color him now. Let's try, try this color palette. Okay. Now, color his hands here. Man, this is so cool. Okay, now. I'm going to go and erase here. I'm going to use the lasso tool really quick. Just delete the, the earth layer. Okay, and oh shoot. <laughs> Let me see. All right, now go back to the soups layer. I'll just leave that blue there because I mean, you got to look super close to even know that. 
it's a different color, but let's go back to the soups layer. Yeah, that looks awesome. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and check on the chat. Let me see. Uh, Mata News says, you know, I'm pretty convinced Silver Age Superman is where the whole Superman is overpowered argument came from. Yeah, I do believe so too, because Superman, like, literally his first appearance, he didn't even he didn't even know how to fly. I do believe he did have super strength. But other than that, I mean, there was, like, so many superpowers that he has that, you know, they didn't really much add much into it. I mean, Superman can literally, like, clone himself within the palm of his hand, just like a mini-me of himself. And, uh, yeah, it, it just gets so wild with his superpowers and stuff. Let me see. MD Dangerous says his skin color is fine for Bizarro Superman. Oh man, really? He looks cool to me. I mean, he's not gray. Unless if I turn off his. Yeah, like that it looks like Bizarro. But I mean, this looks fantastic. And again, the grayscaling is making my colors look fan flipping tastic. But yeah, guys, this looks awesome. I'm just in love with this piece. There is a little bit of grays here and there, and I'm going to make sure I take care of that. So, go in, get this color really quick, and color all the stuff that's not blue. Here's that one. Let's get rid of all these snowflakes. Turn off the line art. Same red. Got the red layer. Bam. Yeah, so just covering all these reds here, making sure there's no single snowflake in sight. Then we'll switch. Turn off blue again. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, see one spot here that needs to be blue, so we'll do that. But yeah, man, I, I love Superman. Honestly, he's just an inspiration. Um... But yeah, but I mean, I don't know, I think it is hard to write a Superman comic where, you know, how can you defeat a being that has godlike abilities? I mean, I would honestly love to write a Superman comic. Hell, even just drawing a Superman comic would be a dream come true.
So I think for now, I think we'll be playing around with the red color. So we'll do um, red shadow layer. We'll do multiply. And then what I'll do now is pretty much use that red and just give it a nice color. that nope eh. mm. oh shoot I left his comments up Pretty stuck over here because I want to add some shadows into. Well, I don't. I don't even know if I can even add any shadows because again, this is a grayscale, so it just did that all that hard work for me. Hmm. Okay. Now let me go and turn off that layer really quick. Oh, I forgot I used painting. So. See, I'll be right back, dudes. Hold up.
Yeah, so pretty much I'm on my end. I am just saving every little thing imaginable. Go. this right now go and create another layer make like a white type of coloring going on so that way it makes that fog Hmm. Let me try another one. Let me try like green. Yeah, this green looks fantastic actually. Go in. Use the green actually. Pretty much all the dark parts I see, I'll just color. Let me zoom out really quick. Yeah, this is looking awesome. So... A nice green color to it. Go. Okay. 
See how it looks. Okay. Yeah, this looks fantastic. And I'll keep saying fantastic so many times, but you know, I'm using like a paintbrush tool. Um, this is like one of the presets. It's called Uneven Layer Brush, so it gives that nice little cool look to it. But I think this is pretty much it, guys. I mean, I'm pretty happy how this looks. Hopefully you guys do too. And with that, guys, I'll be ending the stream. Let me go and go to the time lapse. Then let me do export time lapse. And pretty much, you know, you guys are seeing it in real time. I think it's just mixing in more like 30 seconds. Let me see what does all even mean. Do original type. Do it like so we'll put okay. Just export it. So while that's loading, guys, let me go. Put my beating on. Where right, I switch cameras. Thank you guys so much for watching this stream. Uh, it's pretty an awesome coloring stream. You know, I, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun indeed. And uh, yeah, guys, I mean, you guys, ooze of excellence as always. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much. You, you know, God bless. Stay being awesome.